What's up everybody? It's Andy from Hangry by Nature. I'm stepping in for Tina. She's just having a quick nap upstairs. Today we're going to be talking about how cheap Vietnam is and the do's and don'ts on how to spend your money there. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell for more family friendly videos. We'll be going through a few things, accommodation, food, transport and attractions and a few other little bits and pieces as well as budget travel tips. Let's get into it. Now this information was drawn from a family of four over a two week period. Over the two week period we stayed in Ho Chi Minh, Phu Quoc and Nha Trang. For a more detailed breakdown of our travel costs while we're in Vietnam, make sure to check out our blog posts that we've linked down below. Okay guys, let's go wake up Tina, I'm going to send you guys up there. Let's go! Well hey guys, I'm here to talk about accommodation. So Vietnam has tons of accommodation options for all types of budgets and it's continuously growing from what we have seen in places like Da Nang, Nha Trang and Phu Quoc where heaps of resorts and hotels are being developed. It's really going to become the next holiday hotspot in Southeast Asia. The accommodation we stayed in were in great locations and really comfortable, some even pretty luxurious. We spent a total of $1,360 US dollars over two weeks. I mean, just check out this five star resort we stayed at in Phu Quoc, which only cost us $660 US dollars for seven days. best part, all of them often include breakfast as well. To see some of the hotels and resorts we stayed at in Ho Chi Minh, Nha Trang and Phu Quoc, check out the links in the description below. So do spend money on accommodation as you can get some really nice apartments and resorts for great value. And it's something nice to splurge on, you know, you want to come to some comfortable accommodation after a hard day exploring. Anyways, I'm going to get out of this cot and we're going to head downstairs. Food! Street food in Vietnam is absolutely amazing. It's actually one of our favorites in all of Southeast Asia. You guys have to try barbecue restaurants when you're in Vietnam. You'll see these everywhere where you basically self-cook barbecued marinated, marinated meats and seafoods and it's just so delicious. Street food in Vietnam is also the most cost-effective food option. We spent around 5 to 10 US dollars eating out as a family of four. Anyways, I really want to get back to eating my lunch, so I'm going to call in Andy to do the rest. Andy! Oh! Whoa! What am I doing here? Uh, I'm going to eat my noodles and you're going to talk about Western food in Vietnam. Oh, I see. Okay guys, Western food in Vietnam. So Western food in Vietnam, there are many options. It is slightly pricier, but it, it is still affordable. For example, an Italian meal for the family, we're looking at about 20 to 30 US dollars. What we also want to mention as well, with our breakfast, we actually had that included with our room rate, which actually helped us save quite a bit of money. In total, we spent about 400 US dollars over a two week period, and that's eating out every day. Oh, and guys, do bear in mind that we found Vietnam's food hygiene standards weren't exactly up to par compared to some other Southeast Asian countries like Thailand and Malaysia. But that's mainly because some of Vietnam's most popular dishes like pho contain some half-cooked meats. So do be mindful of that when you are eating street food. So guys, do, do spend money on food in Vietnam. It's cheap, it's delicious, you want to make sure you make the most of the local food. Don't worry guys, if you guys get the run, it's okay. Just recover when you get back home. And you know what? Your stomach might just grow stronger for the next time. You'd hope so. Fingers crossed guys. Maybe. No guarantees. Don't, don't take our word for it actually. No. Mm. Okay, on to the next thing. Transport! Transport! Not gonna lie. 
Taxis in Vietnam are dodgy as f Not all of them are, but a lot of them are. Get the Grab app before you arrive. It basically works like Uber. Order your ride, prepay your fare, less hassle, less stress. Plus, you can read the driver's reviews, which can be really helpful. If you're traveling with kids, I definitely would not recommend riding a scooter. Less touristy places like Phu Quoc don't have Grab, so you will have to use taxis. Just make sure to be alert as there are many scammers. They will try to whip you off. Make sure they turn on the meter and keep an eye on the meter just to make sure it ticks at a steady rate. Also have Google Maps on the ready. Some drivers will pretend that they know where they're going and just take you on a detour just to get a bit more money. Two more reputable taxis to use are Mylin and Venusun. So don't, don't catch taxis unless you have no other option of course. Use Grab. Attractions in Vietnam Compared to Thailand or Bali, Vietnam doesn't really have too many kids attractions. They do have the more common ones such as like zoos, aquariums and museums. However, they do have Vin Pearl Land. This theme park is action packed with all the kids attractions you can think of just packed into this one epic place. For a look inside Vin Pearl Land Nha Trang, check it out up here. Okay, so how much does it cost to get in? Good question! Tina, how much does it cost to get in? Alright guys, I'm gonna have to get her in here on this one. I don't know what the prices are, can you tell them? This is your part. Come on babe, I, I need you on this one, come on. You never remember anything. You! Ain't nobody got time for this. You, no returns. Fine. So adult entry to Vin Pearl Land Nha Trang costs $38 and kids $33. This is probably the most expensive attraction in Vietnam you'll have to pay for. Another cool attraction is Ba Na Hills just outside of Da Nang, a replica French village style theme park perched high up in the mountains and boasts one of the longest cable car rides in the world. Super fun for the whole family, but attraction tickets do come in on the dearer side at $30 for adults. For the cheapest tickets, check the link in the description below. There are also numerous temples that are a must visit. Many of them are free, save for a small voluntary donation, and others like the famous Panaga Tower in Nha Trang cost as low as a dollar to enter. Tours are also fairly priced. Street food tours start at around $30, which include food, and you can even hire a private driver for an entire day to take you to more distant attractions, which will only cost you around $40 for the whole day. Andy! So do spend money on attractions as most of them are very cheap. Just make sure you budget for some of the pricier attractions like Vin Pearl and Bana Hills. They are so worth it. Okay, so now we're going to share with you some costs we think you should know about. So for example, a medical consultation may cost between $40 to $70 depending on the type of doctor you visit, whether it's international or local. Baby essentials. If you opt to use local brands, a pack of diapers can cost around $5, which is usually the cheapest option. But you'll also find other imported brands like Pampers, Huggies and Goon, which are slightly more expensive than the local brands, obviously. To find out how family friendly Vietnam is, just pop into the video just here. I would definitely recommend getting a SIM card for your stay in Vietnam to get around using the app Grab or just to find your way on Google Maps. The best place to get it is at the airport. You'll find SIM cards with unlimited data and calls and texts for 10 US dollars that's valid for 30 days. Bargain! In total we spent about 2200 US dollars over a two week period. Now that includes accommodation, transport, food and attractions. That equates to about $550 per person. Now that is cheap. Alright guys, to finish it up, we've got some budget travel tips for you. First up, make sure you organise your visa before you enter Vietnam because most countries or most nationalities will require a visa there. The most cost effective way of doing it is going online to do your visa. I'll link the website that we used in the description below. It's very reliable and safe. We paid roughly around 40 or 50 US dollars per person for our visas. Please make sure to be careful when you're eating at street vendors. If they know that you don't speak Vietnamese, they will try to rip you off. They will even charge you even three times as much as what it actually costs. Our best tip is to actually find places that have the prices written on a signboard to avoid getting ripped off. If you are on a really tight budget in Vietnam, 
I would probably say, eat bun mi. Eat lots of bun mi. You'll find bun mi stalls everywhere and they cost anywhere between 50 cents to a dollar for one bun mi baguette. Ooh, that's cheap. Ooh wee! <laughs> bun mi is basically a roll stuffed with fresh herbs and pork and it's absolutely delicious. I'm enjoying this so much. All these crumbs are falling on this poor guy. It's his first taste of bun mi. It's time to wrap it up now, guys. Vietnam would have to be one of the most cheapest Southeast Asian countries we've ever been to. And the activities and the experiences that we had was definitely worth the visit. We couldn't recommend it more, and the kids had a really great time there. There are some questionable things, such as getting sick and some scams, but I mean, you kind of just have to roll with it. It is definitely worth it. Still worth it. As always, guys, if you enjoyed this video and you found it useful, please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell to stay up to date with all our travel videos. It's the best way to support our channel and what we do. Oh, and guys, comment below. We'd like to know. Would you rather travel somewhere and eat delicious mwah, mwah. street food and risk getting the runs? Oh. Or would you rather stay safe and eat subpar local food uh. but not get sick? Tell us in the comments below. Until then, we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.